Hi everybody. I'm going to change little Sophie today and I'm going to change her into this lovely outfit that I got from um, Sainsbury's. Uh, Jill has worn it but I haven't actually put it on to Sophie yet. So it's the onesie with the Peter Pan collar with the acorns on. That's white with the uh, mustardy coloured acorns. The navy blue pinafore dress with the little floral buttons. The very pretty little mustard cardigan with the flowers with a button in the middle and they're in a deeper russet colour and navy blue. So that's a lovely little one and the little tights with the squirrels on. So I'm going to pop her into that and see what she looks like. And I wanted to show you a couple of things that I got off eBay. I got these little shoes for Joseph. They're little navy blue leather pram shoes. And they've got a little sailboat on them, which I thought were really nice. And I got a nice knitted outfit for Kira, which is a very pretty little dress. Uh, a grey dress with lace round the neckline two big pom-poms on it at the front and little white stars all over it it's very pretty it's got buttons all down the back and it's got the grey knitted tights to go with it and I got one for Reese as well and this is a white knitted outfit and it's in white and grey and it's got little teddy bears on the front of it holding little rabbits. So it's white and grey mixture and it says, oh, what does it say? Fay de ma passion. So I think it's French. I don't, uh, I've got a bit of schoolgirl French, but not much. It's got a lovely little collar with some lovely grey detail on it. And it's got buttons all down the back. And it's got white knitted leggings to go with it with a little bit of grey at the bottom. And it's also got a little beanie hat which is in the white and grey. So that's two nice knitted outfits uh, for the twins which I'm going to change them into um, during the week. And I thought it was a nice little haul to show you. Let's get Sophie. Come on little darling. Where are you? Come on then, all the others are sitting here quietly. Here she is. Here she is. She can't come out Mwah! without mummy giving her a big kiss. I'll just pop her there for a minute and then I'll check to see that you're seeing her. There she is. There's little Sophie. Just make sure that you can see her okay. I think that's all right. Let me just check. Let's see if you're focusing on her. It looks a bit bright in here, doesn't it? There you go. I think that's all right. And we're going to take her out of this lovely little dress that she's had on. And have a little chat. Oh, look, the little duck's fallen over. Jemima Pudder Duck. He's down there. There we go. It's freezing cold here today. I did a little video for you all this morning. It was minus four when I got up. It's about minus two now, so it has warmed up just a little bit, but it's still very cold. I've had a jumper and cardigan on this morning, but I took the cardigan off when I came up because I find it a bit hard to dress the babies when I've got too much on. There you go, Sophie. Let's get your little arm out. There's a good girl. Yeah, so freezing cold here in the east of England. I think most of England is the same um, in various degrees. Let's lay you down, darling. There you go, she's all jiggy. Yes, she is. I don't know why I'm taking it down this way instead of taking it up over your head, which I normally do. Probably hoping not to mess your hair up, but I always do, don't I, Sophie? Let's take your little shoes off. 
There we go. There we go, sweet girl. She's such a gorgeous girl, aren't you? There we are. That's it. That's a very pretty little dress. I love that on her. Just pop it there. Just take your little sockies off. There's a good girl. Just take your little knickers off with the frills. There we go. Let me just check you're still seeing her all right. Yeah, there she is. There she is. Aren't you? Let's just check your nappy. Yeah, that looks okay still. I don't like to keep changing their nappies, so I do try and keep... I think we need to take this off anyway, so don't we? Because we've got a onesie to put on and we don't want to double you up too much because you're a little chubby girl. Are you ready? Are you ready? Where's she gone? Peepo! <laughs> she loves Peepo, don't you? Yes, she does. She loves playing Peepo with her mum and she loves playing clapping games too yes she do she's such a sweetheart this little girl i absolutely love her i absolutely love her to bits and i want to say a very big happy birthday to two of my friends on here and that's tina that's t lucas it's her birthday today and it's Debbie's birthday today, Mad Hat and DJ. So happy birthday to both of you and I hope that you're having a lovely day and doing lots of fun things. And Sophie's going to give you both a kiss. Mwah! Big kiss Tina. Mwah! Big kiss Debbie. Say have a nice birthday. We like birthdays, don't we Sophie? And I hope they both like their birthday cards that I sent. There we go, sweetie. Let's pull this down on you. Up you come. There she is. She's a big girl, aren't you? She's a big chubby girl. It's my wedding anniversary tomorrow, 48 years. And my husband surprised me yesterday, which... He doesn't do very often, I must admit, but... I, my um, original wedding bro wedding ring broke mm -hmm. uh, about 20 years ago now um, and you know he said oh I'm not getting you another one so I bought a cheap one from Argos just so that I didn't feel like a wanton woman running about with no wedding ring on um because i mean after you've worn a wedding ring for a long time you do tend to feel strange without it i did anyway so i had a cheap one anyway that i bought so that i could wear it just a plain band and when we went into town yesterday he said to me Oh, let's walk up the top of the town to the jewellers. And I said, why? What, what are you going up there for? And he said, well, I've decided to buy you a wedding ring at long last, he said, to um, make up for the one that you bro that's broken. And I said, oh, blimey, really? And he said, yeah. Well, he said, I was going to do it for our 50th. But after having a heart attack... I'm not sure that what's going to happen. Well, those look nice on you, so little squirrels. He said, so I'll buy you a new wedding ring. And, oh, gobsmacked. So we went into the jewellers. Of course, they're a lot more expensive now than when we got my original one, which is which was six guineas, my original one which is six pounds, six shillings. Um, 
so that was a lot of money then that was a week's wages for my husband up you come darling um so you know it was a lot of money and it was a very pretty ring it was a patterned ring Oh, I think we need to do these over a little bit because they are quite long, aren't they, darling? Let's just put them over a bit. There we go. Um, and so we went in. I wanted to get a ring with a bit of pattern on it. I didn't want just a plain one. And um, I picked the one that I wanted and then asked how much it was and was quite shocked by how much it was. And I just looked at my husband and he said, well, is, is that the one that you'd like? And I said, well, yes, but, you know, it's, it's a lot of money. Oh, we're losing you. And he said, no, that's OK. And so I got a new wedding ring at long last. That looks so cute on you, Sophie. That looks so cute. I mean, I'd show you if I thought the pattern would show up, but I don't think it will. Let's see if it will focus on it. I'll take my other ring off. It is actually a lovely ring, and it's got a very small pattern at the top and the bottom. So it's not plain. I don't know whether you can see it in any detail, but it's very nice. And I'm very pleased with it. And I was very lucky that the one they actually had fitted me perfectly. So I could kind of bring it home. So I put it on straight away. So that was a lovely surprise. Up you come, darling. I wasn't expecting that at all yesterday. We don't usually, you know, I don't usually get anything at all for my wedding anniversary. So... You know, I might get some flowers, but not always. So, yeah, very surprised. I'm very happy to have a proper wedding ring again. There we go, Sophie. So that was a nice surprise yesterday, wasn't it, Sophie? We weren't expecting that when we got up, were we? Let's just get your little collar out. There we go. Well, that fits you gorgeous, young lady. It fits you gorgeous. Yes, it does. I think it probably looks very nice on both of you. I like that. It's very nice. Let's sit you up so everybody can see you and then Mummy will find your... There we go. Look at her hair. Don't I always mess this baby's hair up? Look at it, it's, it looks like a bush at the moment. What am I like? Honestly, let's just get a bit of coconut oil on. Let's get a bit of coconut oil on, my little soap, and we'll give your hair a bit of a brush down. And mummy will find your squirrel clips for your hair. There we go, that's better, isn't it? Yeah, let's turn you around a little bit more because I don't think people can see your beautiful face. And we want them to see your face, don't we? Can you see her face now? There she is. Brilliant. Let's just smooth your hair down a bit because I always make a terrible mess of it. And her hair is so beautiful. There we go. Let's get my box out and see if I can find my squirrel clips. Right, where's their squirrel clips? I think I left them, yeah, I left them on the actual thing so that the card so that I kept them together because they're so cute. I didn't want to lose them, you know. There's one little squirrel. <laughs> that looks very cute, Sophie. Very cute. And there 
there's the other one. Just get all your hair in. There we go. So there she is. I've been wanting to try this outfit on her for ages. But I had her in the romper that goes with it, if you remember. Um, I have to try that romper on um, Ginny, actually, and see if, what it looks like on her. But I just wanted to do that with Sophie today, because I haven't done much with Sophie. And I hope you've enjoyed seeing her and listening to me chatter. And thank you very much to all my new subscribers for joining me. That's brilliant. And all the subscribers that have been with me, you know, all the time. And all your lovely comments and your tics. We really enjoy them, don't we, Sophie? We like listening to all your comments and we appreciate them. And... Yeah, just watching us. It's amazing. And I'm very, very grateful to you all out there. And you take care and have a lovely rest of your day. And I hope you've enjoyed seeing my little Sophie. Let's just get you a bit closer to her. There she is. My sweet girl. She looks very nice in that, doesn't she? It's a lovely outfit. It really is nice. <laughs> She looks really cute, doesn't she? The sun's very bright today, so it's kind of filling the room with a bit of a sheen. So I hope it comes out okay on here. And Sophie's going to say, Mwah! big kisses, aunties and uncles out there, and we love you. And have a lovely birthday, Tina and Debbie. And a big kiss from me. Mwah! Love you, ladies.